What's going on? It's Feed the Soul, Free the Soul. You know what it is. This weekend, me and my producer, Yukio Beats, we did a, a cacao ceremony with uh, Hippie Flipping as well. And um, before we get on that, I just want to make sure everybody that's tapping in is feeling blessed, staying focused on the journey, staying healthy, you know what I mean, keeping that glow going. Um, yeah, and just whatever you're doing in life, you're succeeding in it. And... Um, Staying in that high vibration. So, uh, with that being said, let's get into some spiritual wisdom and uh, this uh, experience that I had with uh, the cacao ceremony. Um, I'm not really gonna get into all that much about like what cacao is exactly, but it's basically just like 100% raw chocolate and um, you make it into a drink and you use it and you meditate. Uh, so, found it just some um, because I never done it before so I found it a few guided meditations on um well two guided meditations and then I um a high frequency um chakra guided meditation um as well and then um yeah so we put the first one on the first one it was basically just um I'll put the link in there the first one was dope and then I put on um just um another like music thing thought it was something else and um, but that was that was so dope that got us into um, into the state of relaxation and peace and stuff like that. So then we put the the good one on the one that was an hour. Man, she took us to she she brought us over body and took us took us to where we needed to go. It was amazing, amazing. So uh, yeah, put it on. Got nice and relaxed. You know what I mean? Could either sit and you're meditating. Or lay down, because really we didn't know we were on Ash Project, but she was bringing us to Ash Project, and that's exactly what we did. So uh, yeah, we're laying there, feeling nice and comfortable, relaxed, going through the guided meditation, and then no, I mean you start feeling. If you guys um, tried practice Ash Projecting or know the feelings, that's um, the feelings I started to get. My body was going numb. I could start feeling my light body. You know what I mean? I started doing the, the practices that I've done, started feeling that, and then started visualizing the tunnel and, um, and the energy of it and everything like that, bringing me into the, the cosmos and the universe. And then so then I'm listening to her and she brings us um, kind of out of our bodies, but around my host and feeling the energies and everything like that. And then making sure that we're nice and grounded to Mother Earth. So then... <clears throat> As she's bringing us out of her body, she's like, imagine going out of a door or a window. We were laying right beside two windows, so imagine we're going out the window. And as we're going out the window, I'm starting to visualize more of the, the tunnel getting bigger and bigger and pulling my light body into the cosmos and the universe. So then as we're through the window, literally I'm seeing the stars like brightest day, just just coming out and then I'm like look down like that and I shit you not I swear swear on everything this is what I seen I seen the sun the earth and it was like this you know what I mean let's see if I can get it right it was like that you can if the sun was blocked behind the earth because where we were at it was nighttime and then like it kind of took me around and took me around the earth is round my homie said I'm not gonna believe you unless you ask to project I asked subject them, it is round. Uh, but to get on, so then I keep going up, going up, I'm seeing everything, all these crazy colors, basically just the colors, mainly just the colors of the chakras, I'm just flowing with it, and then there's a lot of green because I'm focusing a lot on my heart chakra, there's, there was a lot of green. And um, yeah, and then I, um, I came to um, like this place, and then just this thing just went around me. It was like a, made like almost like a, a spiral, and then it came up again, and it was my spirit guide. I swear it was my spirit guide, and it was a dragon. It was like a like a, like a Chinese style dragon, like an Asian style dragon, and you could see the whiskers, his teeth, the muscles on his head, everything. It was like you could. I was sitting on him, fine beside him. It was he was soft as hell, and then I would put 
my hand on by where like his third eye would be and we would communicate and then he would take me to um different like places to go within deeper within myself to bring me to mother cacao and that's what she was trying to do is bring us deeper down to mother cacao and um that's what my dragon was doing so he was helping me figure out certain things within myself that um that i need to better in that um i was doing right things to figure out and then once i did that i actually came to mother cacao i seen her and she was like like bright bright energy just bright energy you could tell you she didn't really take like a, a full form for some people she might but um for me um it was just like a soft like voice i heard a voice she was like what can i help you with i told her i just want guidance and wisdom on my passion my music you know what i mean and she's bang sent me somewhere and then um uh frig I was like going through like some type of trials almost in my head. And then as I completed that, um, oh, I'm jumping, I'm jumping, I'm jumping, my bad. What I was doing, what she sent me to do, it was like, um, if you guys know the, like the um, ancient geographs, like the shapes that make up the Metatronic tube, it was like those. I would go there and it would be like, kind of like a, uh, like a circle thing or like something else, you know what I mean? <clears throat> something to do with, excuse me, something to do with uh, triangles, um, like um, like pyramids and cubes, all that, you know what I mean? I'd have to find the right part of it to pull out that shape and then bring it over, hop on my dragon, bring it over, and then connect it to my DNA strand that was missing and then spin the DNA strand to, right, to the right spot, connect that thing and um, that piece in there and then it would do like a completion thing, like spin, shine up, bang. I would hop on my dragon, do that. And then that was, um, it was like all stuff that I needed to be creative and for my passion for what I asked Mother Cacao. So then all after that, um, I was just, the, um, she bring us back down into our bodies. And as we're coming back down to our bodies, you know what I mean? I'm just enjoying my ride on the, on my spiritual dragon, you know what I mean? Just chilling, just chilling, you know what I mean? Um, and then just experiencing everything, just experiencing what's what's inside of myself, experiencing the, the visuals that I'm seeing within the astral projection realm. And then I come, we're coming back down to her body, like I blocked out everything that she was, she was saying, the guided meditation was saying when I was going through all that stuff with Mother Cacao and my dragon until she started bringing us back down. And um, actually a dope part of them, when she was bringing us, fully bring us out to the actual projection realm, she um, bring us like through this forest and she was talking about these mushrooms and stuff like that. And you could see me and my producer seeing the, uh, the little small ones on the left side, big old trees, tr like trees in the way of the, like, um, the, the path and stuff like that. Nice grass. And then to the right side, one mushroom, two mushroom, and then three, four, bang, big old mushrooms. And then you come back, um, so then, yeah, let me go back to what I was saying. I meant to say that in the beginning, but, um, yeah. You come back, and then as we're, like, I'm coming down, I can see him just, like, floating. And, like, he kind of, he's like, yo, help me, help me, help me. So, like, I just, like, look at him, and then, like, I can feel, I feel his energy, and I, like, kind of, like, pulled him down. And then, um, as we're coming back, we both seen her bodies laying there, and then she was, like, um something about like whatever before you go back in your body spread your your light your energy and your love to everyone that you wanted to do or whatever that you were focusing on and we did that and then came back to her body we had to explain what we seen and stuff like that he was saying that um, he was kind of like um and then also before um like as i was like kind of flying around it was like kind of like this and like that like a whole dimension and um so like I explained that to him like it was like kind of like flying around when I was going through stuff I could see stuff here here and like everything was like everything that I needed to be seen was in front of my face but I if I like expanded into my peripherals I could see like space still and then I was just flying around like that like almost like yeah it was, it was like that and then like that and then he said almost like the same thing but uh, like if you um the matrix loading screen it was kind of like that he was stuck there but if he looked 
up top or left or right, he could see further out. But it was like, um, he just wasn't fully ready to detach or something like that. It was like his first time, second time, because we done we ash project before, but only through the host. It was that that was a good experience too. Um, but um, yeah, so then we did our second one, and then we went back into our meditation right away. I just closed my eyes, relaxed right away, just big old thing, just tunnel, just picked me right up, took my light body, took my, my real me, just took me on out. And uh, I swear, I channeled Buddha. And uh, I didn't even ask him really what to show me. He just wanted to show me. And um, it was like a soft, light, deep voice. You know what I mean? You could hear it, but you couldn't hear it. It was more telepathic. And um, and then he showed me a bunch of pictures about love and time. Like, time is not an illusion. Like, maybe, like, the time of day, like, right now, might be an illusion. But, like, literal time itself, it's not. It's It's another dimension. It's another energy. It's another flow. It's another law of nature. So... Like time, you have time to connect with people, you have time to love people, you have time to learn shit, you have time to do all the stuff that you can within your life, you know what I mean? And you take it takes time for you to love somebody, it takes time for you to hate somebody, but once you hate somebody, that hate is almost the same power, the same energy as love, but it's just reverse, it's just the negative, so, you know what I mean? Take that hatred and turn it into love and then... You know what I mean? We'll have more positive in your life, obviously. But, um, yeah, and then, so, the way he showed me was just, like, flows. Flows of energy and um, stuff like that. And then um, I uh, I was supposed to go over to my brother's house for a little bit. And then I'm, like, kind of, like, looking around at that point, And then um, I could see him. He, like, walked up, opened the door, and hugged me. And then, you know what I mean? And then um, I looked over to Buddha and I was like, okay, I, I, like, I appreciate all your wisdom, but I, I, I personally like, feel like I have to go right now. And he's like, I understand, but hold on. And then like, when he did that, like um, a string power connected right here to my heart chakra and like shot me down into like kind of like water and it rippled. And then, me and my girlfriend are doing like this uh, painting right now. You guys will see it soon once it's finished. It'll be behind me on my all my other videos, and then like you'll see like there's like lotus flowers on top of um lily pads, and then like we kissed. I seen that we kissed, and then like she turned into her spirit turned into a um a lotus, floated up to the um, to where the string was, where the ripple started, and then went around each ripple and just kept going. Like if you know about ripples, ripples will keep going like everlasting they always go it's just the ripples keep, keep keep getting smaller and she went all the way around and then came back to the center you know what i mean and then it shot me right back up and then he told me take this wisdom and enjoy your life and then right away i shot right back on my body just bang it was like what yo like the hop freed up, it was still shocked. Like I opened my hands and stuff like that and I could see between, I could see my aura. Like it was crazy. Like, I, like my was vibrating still. Like it took me probably like 30 minutes, 45 minutes to feel like I was back into my body. And uh, that was from the cacao and the, the hippie flip. And then we put some shrooms in the, the cacao and yeah. And uh, if you guys, don't know what hippie flipping is, then search it up. Uh, but that's for older people. And yeah, that's for 18 years plus. I'm telling you. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's um, pretty much really all I really have to really say about my experience. It was dope. Feel I feel even to this day, like, you know what I mean? It's been three, four days. Like, I feel amazing. Like, it's... The effects of the cacao, like the natural co effects of the cacao, like are still, I can still feel it coursing through my body. Like it's amazing. So I, so I fully, 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 fully recommend you guys trying a cacao ceremony and bringing it into your uh, routines and, and meditations and shit. Um, and just keep expanding your mind. You know what I mean? Expanding in your spirituality. 
growing in your wisdom, staying focused on yourselves, staying focused on your loved ones. Um, and yeah, stay blessed, stay positive, stay focused. You know what it is, it's Feed the Soul. Thanks for tapping in some spiritualism. Let's get it. Take some time, can't rush it any quicker, be one with one.